الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي لحبت في الله the question arises what should we do as new muslims new in the faith of islam and our parents don't accept us ahbat fi allah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes a mentions tawhid which is the asl the foundation of islam he mentions tawhid along with being righteous and kind to one's parents Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa qada rabbuka ala ta'budu illa iyyahu bil walidayn ihsana Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and your lord has decreed for you to worship him and him alone and be kind to one's parents serving your parents and Many a hadith from the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam also illustrate for us the importance of being kind to one's parents and that the opposite aququ walidain being disobedient to your parents is one of the major sins one of the major sins so letting us know bil aks that one of the best deeds you can do is be righteous and kind to your parents. Bye. So what if you have parents that completely dislike your faith and want to disown you and speak ill about you and ill about the religion? So when we have a situation like this, Abu Tifillah, again, do everything you can to still be kind and gentle. Do not fight and argue and curse your parents. Do not call them stupid. Do not call them ignorant. But rather, take the better position. Take the upper hand as the mu'min, as the believer. And you'll be rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because that's what Islam is about. That's what Iman is about. A part of that is being patient on the other fihi. That the, the harm of embracing the faith and, and giving da'wah and accepting the path of haq is being patient upon that path so do not curse your parents argue with your parents fight your parents disobey your parents but obey them in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said la ta'a il la la masi la ta'a fi مخلوق في معصية الخالق وكما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said what means that there is no obedience to the creation at the expense of the creator meaning that you cannot perform a duty of obedience to anyone in this earth if it means disobedience to Allah سبحانه وتعالى so if your parents say you must be uh, leave Islam you must be such and such faith you cannot obey them in that but still be kind to them kind to them and still be respectful and try to deal with them in a nice way so what should we do in this situation again strive your utmost to be kind and gentle with them and supplicate for them constantly and if you're dispelled from your home hopefully you have a community that can help you and assist you but still supplicate for your parents because abu huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu that he one of the greatest uh, sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in the most uh, had the most uh, narrations of hadith he his mother was not muslim and he used to supplicate for her. and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam supplicated for her and she became muslim i hope to fillah nothing is impossible and nothing is impossible for the khaliq for the creator of the heavens and earth the one who determines all things subhanahu wa ta'ala so don't give up on the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't give up on the hidayah of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
And again, be kind and gentle with your parents. Because they were, bi'idhnillah, in most cases, were gentle and were patient in raising you. But what about the one whose parents were not? The one who was not blessed with good parents, who their parents threw them in the street. Their parents abused them physically, mentally, spiritually. Ahabatifillah in these situations, even with the complexity of those situations, do your utmost to still have the upper hand and to have Islam dictate and try your best to be gentle and at least supplicate for their guidance if nothing else. Supplicate for their guidance if nothing else. Ahabatifillah. And we ask of all the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد